Hey everyone, this is the fourth part of my How to Play Super Monday Night Combat uh, series. This is going to be a actual game in a actual real game. I solo queued up by myself, so this is all random players together. And to give you an idea how a game will actually go. So I am currently playing as Wascot, I have a commando. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the Annihilator area, uh, also known as a jungle at times. And I'm going to go fight some neutral bots to level up and just look at areas to poke at and sort of annoy the other team, if not outright kill them. So right now just waiting for the first gremlin to spawn. They spawn out of that area. There he is. Gonna get some distance on him because they do do a lot of damage at a uh, low level. And goes down pretty fast. Make sure to grab that armor plating because I'm not gonna be near my defender a whole lot so armor is a a rarity so make sure you get that armor when you can. And right here, just looking at the uh, looking where everyone's at. You can see your teammates through walls. If you're, I see in the over the right there, or right above me. If your uh, teammates can see an enemy, then you can see that enemy through walls. But if no one can see that enemy, then you then they're off the uh, the through wall vision, I guess you can call it. So just a, just something to keep in mind. And you should always be trying to keep as uh, much vision on your enemies as possible for that reason, so your teammates can see where they're at, get an idea of where everybody is located. So I can see that veteran above me. I'm going to go over here, see what it's like over here. Alright, I see the assault. I'm going to try to go ahead and just uh, kill him, but the assassin uh, gets to him before I can, so he goes down. And I'll just kill some bots. As you see, she was running away in the corner up there. You can see her. And I'm going to go ahead and cover, provide some cover so she doesn't get uh, picked off for her low HP. I'm going to try to go around here so I can do, but there's a turret, so always make sure you're aware of what's, uh, what's up before you dive down. Like right there, I can't go in because they got some uh, players who see me. I'm going to head back down, uh, farm a few more bots. Get into the level. And you see there I grab churros. Uh, try to grab pickups if you don't need them. Also, uh, also friendly players nearby because you never know when an enemy's going to come down and can take use of them. And you notice I'm not buying the jump pads. That is because um, you're trying to save up money for the annihilator early on. And right here, I'm going to get into a fight with the veteran. Keep my distance. Now I'm activating Shifty Shuffle, so he cannot grapple me. So I get free hits on him. Then I can right before Shifty Shuffle finishes, I make sure I grab grapple him. And he goes down pretty fast. So beware by going down um, to the Annihilator area by yourself. Go over here. Going to once again get a look at what's going on up here. Now my mistake here is that I I was a little too obvious. They didn't notice me, but the combat girl she did notice me. So. Before you don't engage too quickly, make sure you uh, get a good idea of what's going on. I did here. I did not jump down to engage. And I'm looking at the uh, the ejector. And it gives me a nice kill on the gunslinger. And also I damage up the... Uh, I force the tank to back off. I, tr I try to kill him, but at that point it's not, not going to happen. And right there, uh, be careful when you do the uh, little roll or tumble with your melee weapon. Because you can if you go over a ledge, you can go flying off. And right there, that killed me. And once again, leveling up. And you can tell, if you saw right there the assassin, she you saw a little graphic, little uh, things at her feet. That's the graphic for when you're deciding skills. So look out for that on enemy players and friendly players. You know, either to defend them or to just go after them. Because you are vulnerable while picking out skills. Right here, fighting the gunslinger. It was risky picking my skills out there, but uh, gunslinger's not going to try to go on you too aggressively. So I figured it'd be quickly get my uh, defense back up, get more speed. And right there, I engaged her, but she tried backing off, so didn't want to risk getting attacked by that turret, so I let her just die to my Hot Hands product, which uh, does damage over time after I grapple. And that veteran just didn't know the map, so he sort of fell into a hole with her. You sort of don't want to... You want to be careful about spamming your, um, spamming your grapple too much. You sort of want to just... Look for an opening and go for it. And right there, I dodged her grapple and I grappled her back. And gunslinger's there. In that scenario, um, I had a gremlin. I had a gunslinger after me, so 
I didn't want to risk botching my hook, so I decided to just go ahead and use the jump pad by that. And then I came back, then I healed up with the uh, regenerator, fell back down, and I killed her. At this point, you're seeing the bottom area getting a lot of players. That's because you look at the annihilator, it's up now. So, big team fight here. By killing a gunslinger, we gave ourselves an advantage. I should have juiced earlier there. But I was late. Make sure you're aware of your juice. At this point, we pretty much have the Annihilator, so we're going to hit Bullseye a little bit for some experience and items, and then get the Annihilator. Once again, going back up here, seeing who's up here, I see the Spark is vulnerable, so I'm going to go ahead and grab him. And he's going to die. Remember, watch where, you, uh, watch where you're going because. He just died. He didn't die to me. He died entirely to the combat cats of our combat girl. At this point, you see top screen. We're pushing pretty well here, so I'm going to help keep the push going. I'm going to debuff the tank, lower his damage, and he, he overextended, so he's going to pretty much die. And at this point, I have to get out. And it's a good opportunity to go back to my, to my base. When you're heading back to base, you sort of want to, you know, right now I'm looking at the uh, the screen, seeing uh, what time it is. There is a timer on the scoreboard. Where you hit tab, just look at the top, and you will see uh, what the time is. And like I said, the annihilator is spawns every five minutes, so keep an eye on that. And right here, once again, tried to get that veteran. I did kill the combat kitty, though, so it's an opportunity to kill the combat girl. And I go ahead and do it. She juiced me, though, out of the, of the grapple. If you are... If you are in the middle of a grapple, you can hit the juice button, you will lose some of your juice, but you will um, get out of the grapple. So you can turn around and kill somebody by doing that. I'm heading back once again to base. This is a boss spot I did not mention in the first video. That is a Fujibot wave with two Scramblers. Um, scramblers are a special bot that are part of that Fujibot wave. You've heard of Fujibots before. They're the beefy bot that spawns every so often instead of a shady bot. But there they are right there, the two uh, sort of hunched over spiky bots and if I get closer here we'll see it you see there's two scramblers what scramblers do what scramblers do is that if you're too close to an enemy scrambler you will lose most of your abilities you can't use any skills I believe you cannot lunge or roll if you are a classic and do so I don't think you can even grapple so those are a nice way to like right now I'm using the uh, extra Fuji bot to go ahead and take that tower down and the scrambler is gonna mess with our uh, enemies so they can't really do anything about it like that Veteran couldn't grab anybody because he had a scrambler on him. So just keep in mind the time you have uh, spawning your bots. And now I'm, we're pushing that wave pretty good. We don't get overconfident, so I'm gonna look. I saw that the other lane was not as pushed up as far, so I'm gonna help that uh, that gunner out and push his wave further. So don't don't get too much tunnel vision with the uh, with the lanes, because right now we have a weak. That combat girl could have maybe killed him one on one. It's hard to say. But by helping him, it's she has no chance, and she's got to retreat. And we can push this lane up further. Just finishing things off here. I'm gonna go ahead and see, uh, get a top view, see what I can do. I'm gonna take out that that turret again. Just help him when you can. As games push onwards, it's harder as a commando to get kills. So you've got to focus on doing what you can, because they're pushed back so far now that I can't really move them from behind. So. At this point, I'm checking in the uh, Annihilator. Like I said before, you can check the time, but you also want to go back every so often and see what's going on, because the other team can start setting up turrets and other things. And here, I'm basically just helping out my gunner escape, because he's low on life. I have, a lot of, I have plenty of life, so take some hits for him, grapple her so she can't t uh, use her laser to pick him off at a range. And just pushing some more. Once again, now I got a person who left. Like I said, don't leave the game, even if you're losing. Um, stick with it, because you're not going to win if you leave, so might as well give it a shot. This is what we call getting greedy. I was hoping to hit him and stun him with my hook. I didn't, and I, st I stubbornly decided to go ahead and engage him. I did kill him, but I died, and my death gives him more money than his death gave me, so... Don't be greedy. Those turrets, those rocket turrets as they're called near the money balls, are very high damage, much higher damage than normal turrets, so don't mess with them. 
And just don't get greedy. That's just the rule of the game. And you'll get you'll get a better eye feel for how um how well you can do a kill, how well, how much you can overextend to get a kill. That's just part of the game experience. And once again, as you see, this is a good, this is a good defender, a good combat girl. She is uh, she realizes that Nalia is going to be up soon, but she's setting up ahead of time so that when a if a fight starts, like I said, the uh, that tank up there he can't do anything because we've already got this area locked down. And now the Carl setting up, so. We're, we're in a good position now to take this Annihilator. So you want to do that, you want to watch the clock, but not not rely on it just being at the exact time. You want to get there early, so you can sort of lock it down. And there it goes, easy Annihilator. So good teamwork there. That's just a matter of pushing and finishing us off. I hooked him so he uh, stunned and I was able to grab him. And knowing when to grapple and knowing not when to grapple is a, is a key thing. When you are grappled, um, you take less damage from outside sources. So, however, you're still pinned down. So, if you want to keep someone locked in place so they can't escape, especially with uh, commandos, commandos can easily escape by using uh, like spark can teleport. Uh, Wascott can grapple out, but if you or hook out, and if you grapple those commandos, they can't do that. So, while you take less damage while being grappled, you also can't do anything. So. Once again, I'm trying to go and go with him and push him away, but that time I was smart, backed off. And you know, you got to know when to retreat and get some more health. So I got plenty of cash. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, heal up. Don't rely on your defender all at all times to bail you out. And here I'm trying to go for that guy, but he got the safety. And yeah, you actually cannot fire into the. Defender area, at least not with that gun anyway. It might be doing on a per gun basis, but I was not able to. And you gotta, you gotta hurt the money ball, but you can't always ignore enemies, so make sure you clear out people before you actually uh, go for the money ball. And if you saw there, now watch this. I did a close range hook to stun him, so I could easily finish him off. So just be aware of all the potential of your skills. And you'll notice early, early in that fight I did against the gunner, he was juiced and I still killed him. That's the power of having a superior level over somebody. And that's the game. Kind of a, kind of a one-sided affair, but it gives you a good idea what you're supposed to do, especially from a commando perspective, how to push. And I hope that helps y'all get an idea of a game in actual progress. And that's the end of the series for the most part. Um, I hope you've all learned something how to play the basics. I thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in uh, future videos. I will be doing some more uh, just game commentaries in general, and I hope this was uh, educational, and I will see you next time.